Here it is, my Mini Leslie. Uh, this was originally Leslie 125. As you may know, the 125 had no upper rotor. So it was basically a big empty box inside. I uh, decreased the size of it. I took out the standard small 20 wattish tube amplifier and I'm powering it with this 50 watt basement. I changed the speed uh, switching system so it takes a quarter inch foot switch, quarter inch speaker in, no more six pins. And it's a pretty little handy Leslie. And I put some wheels on it too. So here's a little demo. <laughs> So that's off. No rotation. Here's slow. sound. Here's the fast. And a lot of the fun is speeding up and slowing down. show you how it came together. So here's the 122. We're halfway through the chopping. I measured down, at first I measured down 12 inches from the molding. Then I decided to go 14. Really make it tight. As short as possible. I've done one at 12 and one at 14 before. So 14 does work. Um, so, by running a circular saw up each side, I can see on the top the two lines I have to join together. Now, if there's a little chipping or whatever, that'll be hidden by the molding, because after I take the top section off, I'm going to remove the top, uh, put it on lower, and then uh, replace the molding. I've done it before where the mold I've managed to keep the molding on the top by disassembling, uh, keep the molding connected and just put it on like a hat. Um, uh, the cabinet is glued and screwed from the inside. I might just end up using a glue and a couple of finish nails just to um, just to make it quick and uh, make it easy to uh, take it off if I ever have to. And just like the old saw the lady in half trick, I just saw the Leslie in half. So the next step is to remove the inner <coughs> reinforcements pieces. They're all glued in, screwed and glued on the sides, just glued on the bottom. Um, you can do it with moisture and water and be careful, or you can just grab a chisel and a hammer. Um, I left the ones on the back because I'm going to be using that, and those won't be in the way 
when I disassemble this. Um, I always think I'm going to use reuse this. This is really cool, solid core veneered wood. I always think I'm going to use it for something, and I never do. So uh, the one cool thing I have done in the past is by using the, the Leslie logo and making a little mouse pad. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> probably not much use for this uh, this wood, and we're going to have to take the top off of it, so it's not going to be usable for much. It's going to be three pieces of scrap, and that's the next step. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a little weakness here. I always give it a whack. And <clears throat> get this tongue groove compromised down through here. And then uh, take the front piece off and then the other two pieces will flop off. So we'll see how it goes. So I uh, got the sides off. Probably a good idea to take the trim off. I was afraid to damage the trim, but your chances of damaging the trim are pretty much equal whether you're trying to pry them off or whether you try to take off the sides while leaving the trim on. Uh, you'll see a couple, the, the side piece here has fallen off, it's fine, it's complete. The other side fell off, it's also complete. But I guess um, um, I thought that it might just, uh, I might be able to pop off the top without disturbing the trim, which I had done in the past. Not so right now. But it's coming right along. <clears throat> so I um, <clears throat> so I nipped off the ends here where they were going to um, badly interact with the existing uh, cleats here, so they'll make fine. I could. Uh, Make new cleats and um, glue those and screw those to the top and the sides the way it was done. But, like I said before, I might just sit it on top and put some uh, finish nails down the side. I'll take off this glue and put a little more glue on there, maybe. Because um, someone might try and pick this up by the, the trim. Um, but I'm also going to put some handles on it, so it's not likely to happen. Here's the new look. The trim isn't on the top, of course. But now, there is a much smaller speaker cavity. Measures 26 and a half by 17 and a half by 8. So, it's not going to be perfect because I, you know, uh, cut it with a circular saw, but the trim will hide any bit of of walk, or talk, or whatever you call it here. Once we get all four sides down, get the trim on. If I was really clever, I would put a Leslie water slide, try to get the other old water slide or put one there. But it's not that kind of project. As you see, this top was all scratched up before I even got it. Um, this cabinet had been through something. So we're going to give it a new life. As a smaller cabinet that one person could actually pick up and move if you had to. That wouldn't break the back of two people. That sounds good for using an external amplifier. Putting a more powerful speaker in it maybe even. Putting a safer three speed switch off slow fast that uses 5 volt DC instead of 120 volt AC to switch which means there's no high voltage going to the switch and that's going to save the old shocking hazards that the Leslie's are kind of famous for so you'll see it finished soon and here's the final product a significantly shorter Leslie it's about 17 inches high, plus some wheels. The motor control takes a quarter inch dual foot switch. I upgraded the speaker as well. Although it was a nice speaker that's in there, but this particular one had uh, some tough times, I think. So 
So it's time for a new speaker. And there it is. The Mini Leslie. Thanks for watching.